Welcome to another video from Lockdown Electronics with me, Bill. Uh, you may recall a couple of videos back I reviewed the Kaiwitz ST100 meter, and at the time I said I would also review the ST120, and that's what I intend to do today. Um, outwardly appear similar, and in some senses they are, but there's also some significant differences. So let's take a look at the specs of the ST120. Okay, the ST120 then, according to the website, um, um, tells a very similar story to the uh, uh, previous ST100 with the absence of uh, the NCV function, although the manual does allude to that, it, uh, it doesn't actually have it. Um, but I think that sort of undersells it as well, because uh, as well as having um, smart mode, which it mentions there towards the bottom, it's also got manual voltage and resistance mode selection, which I think is particularly handy from an electronics point of view, so that, that's a positive. Uh, frequency to 4 MHz actually does considerably better than that. In fact, it does a great deal better than the 100 in that respect, as well as we'll see later. Um, capacitance, 40 to 400 nanofarads to 40, 400 microfarads. Yeah, that's um, similar. Uh, resistance to 40 mega ohm not that I can check that but um, that's an impressive and obviously does diode and continuity as you might expect so let's start by having a look at the instrument on the bench okay let's start with a, a general look at the ST120 then so at first glance it doesn't look um, so different to the ST100 that I uh, looked at in previous review. However, the design concept is quite different in that this one has a single socket for the negative lead, which um, plugs in in a conventional um, type of banana plug socket onto the to the negative end there, and the positive connection is actually the tip here, so it makes it a very usable handheld meter. That um, probe shroud will pull off if you need to get a bigger contact area it also comes with a, a little cover to to just cover the probe up um, should you need to um, two AA batteries which go in the back and then there's a screw to keep the cover 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 captive did clip on in quite a nice firm way so it wasn't a, a great problem I don't think um, so Two AA batteries actually included with the product, so that's that's always nice because it means it's usable out of the box. And it has a nice, nice clear display, as you can see. It starts off in auto mode, but what's quite nice about the 120 is you can actually step through the separate modes. Volts, DC, AC, resistance, uh, then you've got continuity there, uh, diode, uh, and then we've got frequency. And then capacitance, and then we're back into the the modes for measuring uh, phase uh, direction of phase, uh, etc. And there is an auto mode as well, should you need that. Um, I prefer to manually select the ranges, but uh, um, that can be quite useful sometimes. Okay, so unlike as I mentioned in the intro, the ST100, the ST120 has a single uh, negative lead, and the positive connection is. Um, on the tip here. It does have a, a sleeve that's removed but I'm going to leave it on as it um, actually seems uh, perfectly usable that way. And I'm going to use exactly the same components uh, here to verify the various um, measurement ranges that are the same components that I used with the, the ST100. So I'm going to start with the resistance um, and I've got it um, in resistance mode so I'll, you may recall or maybe you don't but uh, it's supposed to go up to 40 mega ohm I haven't got anything like that what I've got here is about it's about 8.05 mega ohm that's making it um, 8.08 mega ohm so well within the uh, tolerance at the other end of the scale 22 ohm resistor here comes up at 21.4 notice there isn't any beeping with the ST120 that's because it has a separate continuity mode and this is a 68 ohm resistor which uh, came in a little bit below that and the one indeed it was on this it's saying um, uh, 67 ohms so resistance uh, working nicely and uh, nice nice and uh, responsive so step on again and we'll come to diode so I've got a silicon 
diode here, small signal diode, and hopefully you can see there, 0.583 is the forward voltage, 0.583, and if I just um, put the probes on the opposite way, we should get zero, because that's reverse biased, as you might expect, and indeed it is. So again, diode function, nice and snappy, no problem. OK, we go on to uh, capacitance, and I'm going to again use exactly the same three capacitors. 40 nanofarads is the low range on here, this is a 22 nanofarad capacitor, and very quickly it gets it as uh, 21.4 there, so that's pretty good. I've got a tiny little uh, one microfarad surface mount capacitor here, so if I can get the ends of the probe there, yep, hopefully you can see that. 0.94 microfarads, that's correct. And then we've got a, a fairly large uh, 220 microfarad electrolytic here, so let's just see what she makes of that, it just does pause for a moment, and there's your answer, 214.4. So, yeah, um, capacitance uh, seems to be working fine too. OK, so as with the ST100 meter, the ST120 doesn't uh, measure current uh, either, so um, let's uh, verify the voltage and the resistance measurements by uh, measuring some current indirectly. So I've got this LED, exactly the same before, driven um, through a current limiting resistor. So I'm just going to measure the voltage across that resistor. Well, it would be if I was in voltage mode. Apologies. Let's go into um, voltage mode. That's better. OK. And it's saying 2.0. Well, let's call it 2.11. So 2.11 volts, and I'll just take the resistor out of circuit. We'll go on to um, resistance. So we are 2.11 volts and 327.3 ohms. 327.3. So if we just get the calculator and to the maths. So we've got 2.1 divided by 327.3 gives an answer of 6.4 times 10 to the minus 3 again. So 6.4 milliamps is what uh, by calculation we believe the current flow to be. Let's verify that. Here's the KM601. It should jump straight into current mode because it detects where the probes are rather nicely. So what we do now, it's on milliamps, hopefully you can see that clear enough. So I'm going to now put that into circuit. If I can manage that, LED lights up. And we've got 6.375, slowly creeping up, 6.378 milliamps. And I will calculate it 6.4. So hopefully that's shown us that um, the resistance and the voltage measurements on the ST100 are uh, pretty good, as it gives us a very similar answer. So yes, you can measure current, you can't do it directly. OK, let's look at frequency. I've got uh, the probes attached with a couple of um, crocodile clips to my function generator, currently producing 35 hertz, and the meter is uh, correctly picking that up. Um, so I'm going to hop up to 40 hertz and then very quickly go up to 100 hertz there. And yeah, it, it's um, getting that pretty much exact. Let's go up to 1 kilohertz. And again, to three decimal places, exactly 1 kilohertz. So it's a bit more accurate than the ST100. In fact, it's, um, well, assuming the signal generator is reasonably close, it's uh, pretty much spot on. Let's try 100 kilohertz, and yeah, again, 100 kilohertz, no problem. I'm going to go to 1 megahertz, yeah, 0.999 is well within the, uh, the stated tolerance, so that's 1 megahertz. And if we step up to its stated limit of 4 megahertz, yeah, it agrees with that. So let's continue on up to, to 10. See what it makes of 10. Yep, yeah, it's absolutely fine at 10. And again, at 20, we're okay. 
21 perhaps yeah still okay at 21 and as I go to 22 megs it now no oh no go on it's still okay at 22 megs let's push the boundaries 23 yeah 24 25 meg okay well let's keep on going 27 28 that's 29 megs yeah and that's as much as my signal down right will do is 30 megs it's still saying yeah it's not picking it up there so 29 megahertz is what it will go up to that's um pretty good considering 4 megahertz is the uh, the top um, stated range so it does very nicely on frequency um as somebody who had a, a cheap analog multimeter um when i was a lad having something like this would would be you know beyond your wildest dreams something that could measure frequency uh, that accurately and, uh, accurately and um, in such a compact package so yeah frequency very impressive okay and just uh, very quickly I didn't do this on the ST100 but actually um, when I was testing it out it did actually give me uh, pretty much identical results this is now looking at AC volts I've got actually a 100 Hertz signal and um, 3.554 is actually uh, agrees with my true RMS AC meter so although it doesn't say it anywhere on here it is actually measuring um, the true RMS voltage uh, on a sine wave uh, quite accurately so that's uh, AC volt okay well that's it for my look at the ST120 multimeter from Kiwitz. Um I rather like this I think if I was had to choose between the 100 and the 120 I'd probably go for the 120 because um, I think it works better from a electronics enthusiast perspective um, they're both fine but what I really like about this is the ability to do testing you don't have to look away at what the meters saying you can you can just just move your eyes slightly from whatever it is you've got the probe on and you've you've got the answer I quite like that and um, appreciate as well I've not tested everything completely they don't do current and that might be no good for you but hopefully you've seen that their measurement of voltage and resistance is certainly good enough that you can calculate current to within less than a, uh, a milliamp so you know that would certainly be good enough for, for me as a hobbyist so I hope that's been useful if you fancy in any of Kiwi's products be it this one or any of the others um, here's a look at the range of instruments uh, and this they've all been reviewed on the channel I'll put links in the description to all of those but if you're fancying any of these then um, there's this discount code in the description if you use that code you'll get a discount and that also helps the channel which of course I'd be greatly appreciative of thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next video